Hey folks, please enjoy this clip from our show, which you can find every single day at 4 p.m. Eastern exclusively on Rumble. We've been doing the best shows we've ever done, completely free of censorship and on a platform that actually supports us. You can also support us on Locals where you can access a ton of exclusive content, movie riffs, as well as an archive of over a thousand full episodes going back as far as seven years. We've also teamed up with Merch Engine to bring you a new lineup of really awesome quality shirts, hoodies, and now even hats. So come check out our untested uncensored show on Rumble every single weekday at 4 p.m. Eastern. You stupid idiots. There, there oh, there's we our boy. Go. There we go. There's we our androgynous boy girl. So, oh, yay. We got <laughs> Samanu. Dayton. Can, can I read the, and, and, can I read the title? And by the way, guy who made that documentary about Dayton that's mad that we pause it. <laughs> Tough shit. Yeah, get over it. Get over it. Yeah, too bad. Yeah. yeah, read the title, please. Big Branch in transphobic sister's yard falls in front of LGBTQ plus flag. She gaslights neighbors with. Mm -hmm. Just getting video of this to show that the storm from Hurricane Helene. Uh, the only difference Helena, between version uh, and was the reverb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just my voice is a little deeper. That's about it. I, I do like that it's what Hurricane Helena Bonham Carter. You didn't, yes. you didn't even get that right. Anyway, uh, the hur hurricanes. Hur Hurricane the Helena Hutchins. Up here to Ohio, from Florida, knocked down that. I hope old Christina Ricci's okay, wherever she is. Because we got a hurricane from Florida, a transfer of Ron DeSantis. I just, I just want to point out that he's filming his sister's house, which has a pride flag outside, and he still hates his sister for being transphobic. Mm -hmm. That whole tree branch, my sister's front lawn. Water destruction. And there's that gay pride. Flag, she just right? leaves the gay flag out in the hurricane. Clearly, she's transphobic. <laughs> her, her and her black husband should come out like two Marines at the end of every day and take the flag down and then fold it. <laughs> and then and shove roll. it up their assholes. <laughs> fold, fold, fold it in little, tandem. Fold it in a little gay pink triangle. Well, somebody plays a, a bugle. Yeah, over <laughs> the front door. She allowed all those years of skinhead violence to happen to me. From you wearing oh dresses and coming out of closet trans. How long has Sherman been dead now for? Three years. It's oh my been God, like years. three years. Three years? Dude, you gotta get over this shit, man. She allowed all that violence to happen, all that PTSD that I have from all these seven and a half years of violence that she blatantly ignored and allowed. People and who have PTSD me. typically have trouble speaking about their trauma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's all about. you talk about. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. That's a giant branch of tree in her front yard, right in, falling right in front. Why of did her. you decide you needed to make a video about this? Yeah, what it's, does this accomplish? Also, that branch—that's one of those branches where I could personally go out and just go, "Hey, Royce, can you help me out real quick?" And yeah. the two of us wouldn't even need a we tool. We could take that down. You would just rip it off. Two yeah. guys could toss that in the backyard, and you're, and you're done. You're like, all right, well, yeah. could have been worse, you don't right? Even need you don't even need a chainsaw. You just need no. a cinder block to lean it up on so you can stomp on yeah, it. That's break. pretty much that's it. it. It'll break. Presents acceptance and love and Pedophilia. protection of transgender oh. people. May maybe he's fixating on the fallen branch because he doesn't like to see a fellow <laughs> get in trouble. <laughs> God damn it. That was beautiful. Good grammar joke. Good grammar joke. Good joke. That was good. That was very good. You see, folks, what does he mean by that? Oh, here we go. See, a f <laughs> used to mean a bundle of sticks. <laughs> That's my new favorite thing now, Chris Cuomo explaining obvious things. Yes. I love it. She only uses it to gaslight the neighborhood about the violence that she allowed the neighborhood figured out about. It's That's not up. what gaslighting is. Gaslighting isn't real. You're just crazy, as I tell my wife. <laughs> uh, so this is him do reviewing a book now from the information that I have received from our source who knows Dayton he's obsessed with this this uh, writer okay uh, Kim D'Alessandro 
and he calls her his Andy Warhol mom, and he wants to meet her one day. So if you, if the people that know the Dayton lore, this is a new Christina Ricci, his new obsession, mm. his new thing uh, that that he thinks this. Per- and by the way, the reason he thinks this person likes him and is going to adopt him and live, and he wants to live with her, is because she's liked some of his comments when he's commented on her stuff. That's it. Can I point something I, out about Kim De Alessandro? Yeah. This is going to end up in some kind of weird stalking thing because Christina Ricci yep. is so big that she would never notice him. Right. This person's a nobody. Yep. Mm. Also, I fucking love, I love that Dayton has one of those gay upside down fenders off of Etsy. Those guitars are sold by this old <laughs> who buys like $150 Squire guitars. And then he flips the neck around on him, and he sells him for like eight hundred dollars. That's awesome. <laughs> so good for him. So this is a oh, good Kim... for him, but it's so funny, dude. He got ripped off like a motherfucker. Kim Delisandro says poetry and li- this one is says uh, I, I looked at her bio. Poetry and lyrical writing led to short stories, and Kim Delisandro's ability to find discipline to to condense words and incite emotion, writing with precision and, and economy. Selections of her writing were published in. Paraphilia magazine in 2012 to 2014. Uh, in what Whoa, magazine? What? In, in what magazine? Paraphilia. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Virgie. Go, could you do go do a little clickety clack? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm clickety clack. <laughs> <all right. laughs> yeah, what is that about? Well, not the, not 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 to be not to, not, to, not to be confused with Pedophilia magazine, which was 17. <sighs> well, that's what I'm getting. I mean, paraphilia is just a general term for any kind of sexual like that's why i'm like what are you is it a magazine about fetishes i think so yeah i'm, I'm trying to see it's, it's a pace it's a facebook page. all right let me read i got you paraphilia okay. magazine was a free online magazine that ran from 2009 to 2017 first as a journal and from 2013 on as a periodical founded edited and published by dm mitchell and dyer mccain obvious pedophile names it contains stories poetry art Photography reviews and interviews from a wide variety of contributors, mostly children that were molested. Hold on, I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> now I get to do it, Marsh. Paraphilia. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> it's a persistent and intense sexual interest in atypical objects, places, and situations, fantasies, behaviors of individuals. Uh, some examples of paraphilia include sadism, masochism, fetishism. Pedophilia. Yeah, it's literally any fetish, which is why I was like, as soon as yeah. I heard paraphilia, that's why me, dude, that as soon as me, me and fucking Virgie, both of our fucking signals went off. Like, whoa, what? Wait a minute. <laughs> By the way, views in the YouTube chat says Dayton is literally something out of Science of the Lambs. You know, there's people that are watching us on Rumble but still typing in the YouTube chat. Hey, God bless them. Do how do it however you want. Hey, hi. The only the only paraphilia the only paraphilia I got is when I see a. When I see two boobs, I gotta feel a peria. <laughs> Am I right? Hey ho. In retard. I'm Kate Paradoxa. Yeah, the nice white lipstick, I'm stupid. Doing a, uh... He's Kate Paradoxa, also known as Dayton Hypernova, also known as uh, Earl. Earl. Video Earl. review for uh, this book by uh, Kim D'Alessandro titled Dream Maker. It's her uh, third book that she's published um, oh yeah 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 i remember that was the uh the nightmare on elm street movie right when dokken was playing no no you think it no no <laughs> you... <laughs> does he only have one eyebrow <laughs> yeah the good one yeah oh he, he didn't take off the gay eyebrow that's what you're asking yeah <laughs> uh, i believe that it was published within the first year wow he did shave off an eyebrow um, what's he doing her I don't know, man, but it looks like he just ate the asshole from... of the State Puff Marshmallow Man. <laughs> yeah, what are you... Dude. He looks like, you know, in like the TV shows when people are huffing paint. Yeah. And then they comically get paint <laughs> on their like face. He looks like Charlie! Yes. He looks like Charlie when he was huffing paint. No, he looks like one of the Mad He looks like one of the Fury Road guys. Yeah, when they Mad spray Max. themselves with the silver yes. spray paint. Oh, yeah. I was thinking also the guy that hangs out with Kenny Powers. Okay. The, yeah. the, the guy, the, that, the, not uh, Stevie, but the other bum guy that yeah. hangs out the Clem from the bar. They took uh, you, skinhead, and you won't be beating me. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Remember, remember when he gets some steroids and he just hands him steroids in front of the school? He's like, hey, yeah. I got your steroids. And he's like, man, thanks. You're good looking out. 
Also, these are very legal. We probably should have yet. Yeah. <laughs> in 2021 and um she now has like 11 books i bet they're all very good and like the like less than four years since then i think it was what was this dumb bitch's so, name again kim d'alessandro kim d'alessandro it's been right. so far now uh she's uh published um 10 of them as um novels and one of them as oh god i wish he was on coke stories. instead of whatever the hell um, he's on the now third one or alternatively uh, pessy at the very least i wish i was just on what he was on yeah so i could deal with it you know what i mean oh, so you could slow down to his speed <laughs> yeah. and it would seem fast or okay, if i, I was on as much xanax as him i could just drone him out because yeah. i'm on xanax too it's like, you know, like, you know, when they do like, you know, Quicksilver or the Flash, everything slows down. Yes. And um, I just finished reading it. Well, t while uh, he's doing his book review, you can go into a burning building and save every Avenger. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, and, he doesn't. Uh, 23 it... minutes. He doesn't move from this position. 23 minutes. Pedestrian element, I think, is a good way to put it. Like, it definitely has an element of these are everyday people. You know, um, looks like fucking this guy's this like fucking di Dick Sexenhammer. Like <laughs> Never Sexenhammer. raise a Very, fist, but it's definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, really, all the razor fist phenotypes are always punching women. It's super weird. Very odd. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Butt sex and hammer is very funny. But, oh, butt sex and hammer is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> the, the human drama. I'm start calling him that from now on. Um, butt, butt sex, sex and hammer. Six nine six nine. Tarl. Girl. Tarl. 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 Hey, will you will you be bailing out Dayton when he goes to jail? No. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. No. You'll stream about it. And then I'll and then I'll be like, look, if he did something, I'll disavow it later. Yeah, that's fine. That's like a normal. That's a normal thing that people do, right? Right? Yeah. I no. I'm I, gonna it, the day he gets goes to jail. I'm gonna celebrate and then high five Sherman's ghost. Like if she would um, be speaking almost like third person perspective about herself in a sense. Maybe not third person, but she would definitely be like kind of. Can I read you what it. this fucking book that he's holding is about? Sure. The new novel from Kim Desal De 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 this is a story about the people who lived through that. I'm not gonna watch. I'm not watching I this. I swear to God, that's the fucking I'm synopsis. <laughs> they they give you this super interesting story, and then they're like, "It's not about that yeah. though. It's about the that's, people that were that, like tangentially related." All right, that's hilarious.